Good afternoon. We will be discussing Chevron Nigeria Limited 2021 Logistic Plan. Uh, the areas will be covered are the executive summary, company profile, logistics information technology, performance management, pro the procurement system, demand management, and customer service, as well as warehousing and packaging. Chevron Nigeria Limited is a subsidiary of Chevron Corporation that's into oil and gas production. It provides services in all the three critical value chains, which is upstream, midstream, and downstream, with three in three locations, which is Wari, Port Harcourt, and Lagos. It provides all the services with about 20 about 2,000 workers in all the fields that is operates on. Now, in discussing the logistics, information technology, and performance management, on information technology specifically, it has a lot of systems. We have the e-procurement, GPS, radio frequency, i-logistics, and decision support systems that support the business that it does. These are intended to cre reduce cost, increase visibility, safe operation, create command and control, and provide better decisions. However, there are challenges. Some of the challenges are high initial cost, hidden cost, slow adoption, sabotage, and unreliable infrastructure. Performance management is very important for Chevron because that's the only way it can align its activities to the strategic goals and measure. What is not measured cannot be managed. There are critical areas the company deems very important uh, for its business, which is safety, better leadership, higher returns, and lower carbon. The performance management of logistics is aligned to this. And there are five areas that it focuses on. One is asset management, cost, customer service, productivity, and logistics quality. Now, an advantage gives way to Sasha Kalatich, very tall young man. The company has clear procurement processes. The objectives of this process, as enshrined in the plan, is to deliver on strategic goals, engage internal stakeholders, support operational requirement, and create effective and efficient purchasing process. Now, it selects its uh, uh, suppliers through specific selection process. We have the competitive bidding, sole sourcing, negotiated, and then lo local community contractors. You know, these are used uh, you know, depending on the needs of the company. Uh, it also develops local um, capacities and also has OEMs who are global uh, suppliers. It is important for the company to be able to manage its demand and customer service. So in demand management, uh, essentially the company is a monoproduct company, uh, basically oil. But oil has, you know, as a result of midstream development and downstream, de downstream development, we've added gases in LPG and condens condensates. So demand forecasting models of judgmental time series and cost in effect are all used. And, and in doing that, uh, the company has both internal and external sources of information with which it, 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 it derives a demand forecast for each plant year. In this plan, we have the external sources, which is McKenzie, uh, which provides the data, and we relies also on our local, on the local capacities that we have in terms of the ProFuture, Pro Future, which is uh, a tool for creating uh, uh, demand 
analyzing demand into the future. Agreed that the company has a mono product, which is oil, but the recent structure, I mean, demand structure in, the com in, the, uh, uh, in oil and gas has changed. What it means now is that demand has moved to uh, the South, I mean, the Asian ring. What it implies is that we continue to monitor the market to be able to uh, meet customer needs. So customer service has become very important in reducing the loading time for vessels. It, it's important to integrate refinance buyer systems into uh, Chevron system. We want to deliver safe, reliable and quality products to create satisfied customers. So customer service is beginning to uh, be very important for the company. Now, for Chevron, which is an oil and gas company, warehouses are needed basically to sustain production with productive maintenance and for storage and final goods. Uh, Chevron uses the default position for Chevron, as in this plan, is to use third party uh, services. It's only when they are not feasible or available that, you know, public, I mean, uh, private uh, warehouses would be used. So in this regard, Chevron uses private uh, sole uh, warehouses, which in this instance, you know, for its very specialized uh, spares that it needs control. Uh, public warehouses are also used, uh, in, that are also sold, uh, basically for uh, transit items into the field. Public non sold is also used for non-essential, uh, you know, uh, uh, items like office, office, office stationery and spares that are not important. We also have specialized, uh, uh, like, um, you know, for chemicals and gases that have their own specialized uh, tanks and places uh, with their own specialized bay and delivery systems. We also, you know, the company also wants has open base for phalanges, pipes, uh, and then tank farm for crude oil, which is the fundamental product that it serves. Those are specialized uh, tanks that are also created uh, to support uh, exports. Now, uh, in packaging, in 